It has been one year since the COVID-19 pandemic flipped the switch on Las Vegas, turning off the lights and changing how the city looked. All week, we will have in-depth coverage looking at the past, present, and future. Hello, and thanks for joining us for 13 Action News Live at 5. I'm Trisha Keen. And I'm Ty Quinones. Well, it has now been more than a year since the first case of COVID-19 was announced here in our state. Then, of course, one case then quickly became dozens leading to that lockdown. Businesses, including casinos, forced to close their doors for the first time ever. And 13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen right now is live from Southern Hills Hospital. Now he's going to take you right through the past year and also how COVID-19 spread here in the Valley. Jeremy. Yeah, Todd and Tricia, the pandemic certainly has been tough for everyone, especially the nurses and staff here at Southern Hills Hospital, where they experienced the very first COVID death here in Southern Nevada. Now things have changed so much during that time. We are announcing the first uh, presumptive case of uh, coronavirus in, in our community. And that was Dr. Furman again with the Southern Nevada Health District making that announcement in early March of last year. Now, it was the start of a series of events that eventually led to the state shutting down a couple weeks later. Now, this particular case wound up being Ronald Pipkins, who health officials are calling patient zero. He spent weeks in the hospital before being discharged and still has lingering symptoms. His short term memory is slower and he has full body muscle pain and fatigue. Pipkin says he feels blessed to still be alive, but is keeping those who lost their battle with COVID-19 close to him. So many people are now going to see their loved ones for the holidays that I've been was able to be with my kids. Father's Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas, best Christmas I ever had, you know, and, you know, my heart's out to the people that have lost someone. Now, Nevada has been on a long road to reopening with Governor Sisolak reopening casinos back in June. The roadmap to recovery has shifted several times with vaccines now getting into people's arms. Health officials say there's light at the end of the tunnel. And just today, of course, businesses can start having 50 percent capacity inside their stores. Certainly some good news right there. However, coming up at 630, we're going to hear more from Dr. Legan about how the future holds for COVID and how to prepare to combat it. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News. Yeah, Jeremy, thank you. What a year it has been. If you remember also, there were some concerns that the medical system here in Nevada would come close to at least fracturing at the beginning of this pandemic. Well, officials, they raised to increase hospital capacity and also avoid having to ration care. And certainly well, one huge advancement, though, was the development and also the use of COVID antibody cocktails. So monoclonal therapies like Regeneron or IV infusions really helping infected patients' immune systems ramp up. The nurses and doctors, remember, charging into the pandemic were nearly blind. We're cautious and um, nervous, but we, we knew we had a job to do. So. That was at a time when we didn't really have any known treatments available. Yeah, so much, of course, has changed that the most monumental achievement obviously being to date is the development of the multiple highly effective vaccines from Pfizer and Moderna, as well as Johnson and Johnson. And our lights out coverage will continue tonight at six. We're going to have different stories all week, really looking at what we experienced over the past year, while also looking at the present and then the future in regards to this pandemic.